Sleep paralysis is one of those terrifying things that most of us will experience at some point. And you're probably wondering, okay, fair enough, it has to happen. At some point you're gonna experience it. It's just part of dreaming. But how do you stop sleep paralysis happening while it's in the middle of happening? Like when you're actually in the process, you're experiencing it. And please stick around till the end because I will explain the most powerful thing that you need to do sort of near the end of the video, as well as a danger of sleep paralysis you really need to watch out for. Okay, so firstly, here's how you stop sleep paralysis happening when it's already happening. Number one, there's a few ways of doing this, but if you just close your eyes and keep them closed, that will make the process a lot easier because if your eyes are open, or if they're sort of half open and half closed, if you keep opening and closing them, you're flitting between the two different states of consciousness, between being awake and dreaming. Now what this is going to do is it's going to basically make it very hard for you to tell the difference between what is a dream and what is actually reality. And this is exactly the reason why a lot of people, when they have sleep paralysis, they will see things like the sleep paralysis demon or like a giant scary thing standing over them, pressing down on their chest, a weird figure in the side of the room, you know, demonic entities. The reason for that is that you are just in the middle of dreaming and waking. You're not really in any one of these states, but because of that, they're merging together. And so what you have is basically waking hallucinations of the sleep paralysis demon or the, the slender man or whatever it is. So if you keep your eyes closed, what that will do, you'll either wake up and stop having sleep paralysis or you will go straight into a dream. Because as you know, sleep paralysis is when your body is getting ready to dream so that you don't act out your dreams physically. So if you keep your eyes going between open and closed, you're stopping your body falling asleep, so you're keeping yourself trapped in sleep paralysis. This is a really critical thing you need to understand if you are suffering from sleep paralysis, okay? So either keep your eyes open or closed. Ideally, keep them closed because then you will either wake up and stop having the experience or you'll go into a dream and you're actually going to let your body fall asleep properly. So as you keep your eyes closed, you need to make sure that you don't move because if you try and move, then you're going to be fighting against the sleep paralysis. The sleep paralysis will usually win because it's a really powerful programmed response by the body. So if you try and fight against that, it's probably not going to work. It's probably not gonna work, okay? This is like thousands of years of evolution and biology that have been refined down into this exciting, useful skill that we have to stop our bodies acting out our dreams. It's really useful and it actually stops you hurting yourself. So if you try and fight against that, you're not gonna win. Just don't move, keep your eyes closed, and it will pass in a few minutes. Now here's the really critical thing I wanted to say, which I mentioned at the beginning of this video. As this is happening, so your eyes are closed, your muscles are relaxed, you're not moving. As this is happening to you, if you freak out and panic, if you try and say something or scream or say to your partner, like, help me, or I'm stuck or something, if you try and do any of that stuff, you are going to do two things. You're raising your blood rate and your heart rate, okay? And you're keeping yourself awake. You're stopping yourself falling asleep, which then actually keeps you trapped in the process for longer. And this is really, you really need to understand this. So the most important thing is to not freak out, not panic, and don't move, okay? Because that is the only way you will either wake up or fall asleep. If you try and panic, you're fighting against this process, your body's gonna win, and you're gonna stay there longer. And this is why a huge number of people who have sleep paralysis, they, they try and fight out against it, they try and scream or shout, they try and move, they try and wiggle their hand, of course, none of it works because the body is too powerful. The body has overridden that ability to move and to scream. If you keep experiencing sleep paralysis and you just don't know how to get rid of it, I do have a section in the Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp which does explain how to avoid it and some detailed ways of sort of hacking your mind to make sure it doesn't happen. And that is linked in the description. But beyond that, if you wanted to just get more sleep paralysis tips, lucid dreaming tips, I do have lots of videos on my channel, so please go and check them out. And I want you to comment letting me know what the scariest thing you can imagine would be in sleep paralysis. What is the scariest thing? And you need to remember, okay, this is all in your mind. Nothing in sleep paralysis or in a dream or in a nightmare can harm you because it's all created by your own subconscious mind. You're creating it and experiencing it at the same time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.